beautiful! Welcome back to my tarot channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Roya. I'm an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. Now, my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today's not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading, another candle wax reading to be more specific. I think this is like the fifth in the road. Um, <laughs> I don't know, like I just, this week I'm into candle wax mode, even though it's very draining, but I just feel drawn to do a lot of candle wax. So yeah, today you also get treated with another candle wax. And yeah, my dear, today it is all about who's coming towards you in love. So let's look into that. Let's see what messages we can get about the person coming towards you when it comes to your romantic life. Now, as always, my dear, I have three panels you can choose from. And I know these cards are pretty small, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. So this is pal one with the four of cups. This is pal 2 with the Queen of Swords, and this is pal 3 with the Temperance card. As always, my dear, please feel free to pause the video, or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. You will find all the timestamps in the description box, but of course also in the comment section. And as always, my dear, if you are interested in a personal reading with me and you would like to get further information regarding one, you can feel free to email me. You will find the email in the description box, but also in the comment section below. Lastly, my dear, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin. Hey, pal one. Welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see who's coming towards you in love. Let's start straight away with your candle wax. There is one thing I would like to say before that. Um, before starting with the candle wax reading, I like to meditate before that. Uh, it's actually very important. And I already got some messages coming through for you guys. And one thing i or multiple things i am received where first of all i feel like when you meet this person you're gonna have a magnetic almost like pull towards each other and when i received this message and i prepared everything like i put the bowl here and also your card i saw that there is a magnet here and that was like <laughs> <laughs> that was so so funny because i literally in my mind's eye like i i just saw two people like getting pushed towards each other you know like um magnets in a way like this pole and when i saw this yeah i literally laughed because it really beautifully suited the energy i was uh, receiving during the meditation and another thing i i um, received during that meditation was I feel like your person this person coming towards you they're gonna say a comment or they're gonna say something which is gonna be a big deal for you now of course it depends on your individual situation you know where you guys meet um who may be around and you know the conversation and stuff so it may be very very different for every each one of you guys but it could be the case okay this is just an example here so it doesn't have to resonate but i really would like to you know explain this thought a little bit further so let's just say you are meeting this person at a place where other people are also around and you're all engaged in some kind of conversation. And I don't know, maybe someone asks, what is the most important thing for you in a relationship? And maybe everyone is, you know, saying something which is the most important thing for them. And then your person comes through and they say, I don't know, 
know, maybe they say loyalty. Loyalty is the most important thing for them. And this may really, like, all of a sudden make you pause for a second because maybe you were also about to say loyalty and it means a lot for you. And you're going to be um, very positively impressed by that. And this is just an example, okay? Like, um, it could be something totally different, which is much more impactful than, um, you know, just people having a conversation about whatever is the most important to them. But, you know, that's what I'm trying to explain to you guys. They may say something which is going to be a big deal for you. Now, having said that, let's start with your candle wax. I also have your candle in my um, in my hand. Let me light it up. Let's see for my beautiful pile one. For my dear pile one. So, as always, my dear, please give me a moment. Please give me a moment to tune into the energies here. What do you need to know who's coming towards you in love? For my beautiful pile one. <laughs> okay, the first thing I heard for you, my dear, is this is someone who's very, very honest. Now, let me explain it a little bit further. You know, there are some people who would rather hear a beautiful lie than a harsh truth. This is the kind of person who, like, it doesn't matter how rough the truth is, they would rather hear that. I feel like this person, especially growing up, maybe they have been lied to by people who are actually very, very important to them. And this growing up is still something, or now that they're an adult, it's still something that definitely rubs them maybe the wrong way or they really dislike. And they themselves, they are a very honest person. So when you ask them something, expect them to always be, yeah, 100% real with you. And I feel like for some of you guys, this could be something that you very much appreciate because maybe you're also someone who has been lied to by people before and it's really, yeah, more than an annoying for you. And I feel like this person, like, it's not like, okay, <laughs> maybe it sounds like this person's gonna, I don't know, um, say the most harshest things in the world to you or other people and they want to... I don't know, provoke, and that's not what I'm talking about, like, this person's not gonna just, I don't know, get some kind of negative um, thing out of their pocket and throw it your way, it's not about that, it's just, like, generally um, speaking, this is someone who will always be very truthful with their um, opinion, with their answer, and... It's just something they personally think everyone should do because that way we can make sure that, you know, we don't create misunderstandings or, you know, we always have transparency when it comes to the relationships and stuff like that. But it's not only about romance. This is who they are, generally speaking. Everyone knows that, you know, if they want a like truthful opinion or view regarding something they know to approach this person yeah this person could for some reason be someone who brings a lot of clarity into people's life maybe because they don't, they don't fear saying the stuff that other people may not um want to say you know it's okay with them so people may actually definitely reach out to them for some kind of honest um, opinion. Another thing I see here, this is someone, my dear, who, and that's very interesting that I'm receiving this message. I feel like for some reason, they are able to get people out of a depressing or negative state. Now, that's a very interesting 
message in here. It could be the case that it has something to do with this person's work. You know, that they somehow um, help people through that. But I do feel like for the majority of you guys, it's actually something on a personal level. Maybe this person has had some experiences like that. So, you know, when people reach out to them who may be in a similar situation, this person can guide them a little bit or help them somehow. Maybe help them with, um, you know, what kind of steps they could take to get out of this energy. But I do feel like this person somehow helps people when it comes to... I'm also hearing with their baggage or with their mm, like worries what is this about i feel like this person has a yeah they could be someone who has experienced a lot and maybe their friends family people who you know know them they know about that so they may like to approach someone who has been there has experienced that and has successfully um, gotten out of whatever situation it may be so people like to approach this person for maybe some guidance or help but of course for some of you guys it could also be related to their work i feel like this person Okay, when you guys meet, that's interesting. This person, before you guys meet, better to say, they had to make a certain decision that they were very indecisive about. I feel like this decision was related to their future or, yeah, their future for sure. Let me give you an example. Let's just say this person before you guys meet they're gonna move towards um your location and before moving of course this person had to take the decision of moving right and it could have been something which was not easy to do they could have been indecisive you know of course considering so many things and of course they had to really think about their future and see okay if i actually move what's gonna happen here or there where do i see myself like five years from now you know questions like that and this very very important decision that they're gonna take is somehow gonna influence your meeting that's something i'm seeing here and for some of you guys indeed it could have something to do with travel or some kind of movement so maybe my example wasn't that um, random, but of course not for every and each one of you guys. I feel this is a great person when it comes to you, like creating good circumstances or good opportunities for them. Like this is not someone, first of all, who will ever let a opportunity slide like when something enters their life, you can make sure that they will not allow it to just slide away. They will definitely take it and use it and yeah, you know, do the best out of it basically. And I really feel like, you know, besides that, this person is also great in creating good opportunities for them. So they may be very flexible and also very open to a lot of different things and i do feel like this trait of them has actually helped them in going a lot of places because they had this open-mindedness you know and they didn't mm, say no immediately for some of you guys, you may actually meet this person in some kind of gathering I'm seeing here or social setting. Like um, a place where a lot of people are around and 
you know, you may have a good time or you may do something very pleasant. Uh, please, uh, I can't talk. <laughs> you may be some doing something um, that you enjoy, let me put it that way. For example, eating something very nice or talking to people who you have, yeah, or who you enjoy their company, okay? But that's something I'm seeing here, yeah. So my dear pile one, this is all I have for you for today. I am not receiving any more messages. As always, my dear, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. As always, my dear, if you haven't, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And if you do, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload a new pick a card or candle wax reading. Also, my dear, as always, if you would like to get more information regarding a person or reading with me, you can, of course, feel free to email me. And lastly, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, of course, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal one, take care, my love. Hey, pal two, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now, let's see who is coming towards you in love. What do you need to know about the person? Any information? Let's see. I have your candle. So let's start. Let me lit it up um, for my beautiful pile two. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it's turned off. <laughs> One second. All right. So, as always, my dear, please give me a moment to tune into the energies here. Let's see for my beautiful pal two. Who's coming towards you in love? What do you need to know about them? Okay. The first thing I would like to talk about here is that this is going to be a new person entering your life. This is not someone from the past coming back. So if this is something you don't resonate with, then maybe um, you should choose another pile. But this is definitely a new person, someone who may have not entered your life yet, uh, yet or, or maybe um, they... They just entered, but definitely someone new. Okay, that's something I would like to... Oh, what's happening with the camera? Okay, <laughs> but that's definitely something I want to mention here. New, new, new. Someone who... The majority of you guys... Which is very interesting. Okay, I feel like even though this person is gonna be a new person coming towards you... Something about them is not going to feel that, like, like a stranger, you know. This is the kind of relationship or situation in which you meet this person and you're going to feel like you know them forever. Like you may talk to them for a week and it feels like you've always had them in their life, in your life, excuse me. <laughs> this is how this feels like. And another thing I would like to mention here is that I feel like this person is going to be very crucial in your life in the sense that there is something that they're going to mm, impact. They will bring something into your life which will be very, very crucial for you. So let me give you guys a few examples so you understand this better. First of all, it could be the case that when this person comes into your life, I mean, they will, you know, be your romantic partner and it could get very, very serious and, um, you know, they could become a very serious partner of yours. A very important commitment. Another example, like even if this commitment is going to happen, but they can do more than that. This person could also introduce you to someone who's going to give you some kind of job opportunity and they're going to have a huge impact on your career as well, for example. Or maybe this person's going to more so help you on a personal level. For example, let's just say maybe some of you guys, you are on a self-love journey. This person may somehow really help you with that of course it is you who's gonna do the job but um 
It is also great to sometimes have people in our life who may, yeah, support us, you know, through the process. And this person could somehow support you and help you really, you know, see how wonderful you are, how beautiful you are, how worthy you are, something like that. And, you know, it could also be like other examples, just these were just a few I was, um, I was given, but... I just want to tell you that somehow this person will impact your life beyond the love, all right, in a positive way, almost like bringing to you a situation or an opportunity in which could actually even be a turning point for you, maybe even some kind of a situation which you have been waiting for for a very long time. Hmm. I know why I heard um, your good karma like something about this here you know the best way to describe this energy or not the best way but I know why I like let's just take tarot for example if some of you guys are a little bit knowledgeable regarding that mm, this really reminds me of the Mm, like the wheel of fortune somehow <laughs> sorry i know this is random but um i just i just thought i would um, mention it maybe it's gonna be significant for someone maybe someone needs to hear that but let's continue another thing i would like to say is that i feel like for a lot of you guys this person's energy is like speeding up like the meeting um they may come into your life pretty quickly or the meeting, you know, it's kind of like um, coming closer. I feel like this person, another thing, they could have actually gone through some kind of a transformation, which was very crucial for them. For some of you guys, this transformation could have been physical, but... Um, there could be more to it like maybe it's not so much their physical body but maybe some kind of a physical circumstance because i heard physical maybe they've changed something regarding um their life circumstances or something like that but for some reason it's coming through, maybe it's something that they're going through right now and that's why the energy is being um, shared here. Yeah, this person could right now as I speak actually go through a major transformation in their life but there is something very exciting about it because I can see that it's going to be for the better and it actually is going to lead this person towards the paths that they would like to embark on okay once again i'm receiving the message that this is someone new coming towards you and you know i feel like the reason why i'm receiving this message over and over again is because it's not only about this person being new but there is also a lot of newness or fresh energy that this person is going to bring into your life. So it could be the case that with them entering, it's not only about them being a new person, a new like romantic partner in your life. But it is also about what new energies they're going to bring with them, such as for some of you guys, it could be the case that this is a person that you may have your first um, intimate connection with. And on that level, they're going to bring some kind of newness um, in that area of your life with them. For others of you, it could be the case that even if you have had a relationship in the past, still, you know, maybe there is something so unique about this about this person and the relationship you guys are going to have with each other that it feels like nothing you've had so far or nothing you've had in the past 
maybe this person's another example maybe they're gonna expose you to a lot of new experiences like generally speaking it could be the first time you traveling with um, a partner it could be the first time you doing certain activities with them it could be the first time you moving in with them you know take it how it resonates but the main message in here is them taking you to situations that are going to be completely i know fresh is not the right word to use here but it just feels very fresh like some like almost like you emerging into something that is going to be a new beginning for you or it's going to be a new experience for you that's the best way to explain it also i'm having a few numbers coming through so they could be significant to someone but i just feel like saying them because well they're coming through so i'm gonna do it i'm seeing the number seven coming through mm. the number one coming through yes is there anything else and the number three coming through so it could be significant for someone another thing i would like to mention here for you okay i feel like it could be connected to the transformation i've been talking about this person The transformation, the physical transformation I talked about, whether it's regarding their physical body or whether it's regarding, you know, some kind of circumstance, it's definitely connected to some people in their life in a way. And those people are not good for them. Those people could have actually hold them or help them, excuse me. Those people could actually help them um, into a state of mind or just being which was not pleasant which actually may have been very difficult you know maybe this person has had some people in their life that were very negative or put a lot of nonsense into their mind kind of holding them back or you know feeding them fear because those people you know they were not in the right mindset or maybe they had a lot of fears that so they were kind of projecting it on them and this transformation really helped this person to yeah get free from that so if it is some kind of physical circumstance it could be the case that this person moved away from those people or maybe um cut those people off of their life but it feels something like that maybe those people were even somehow shaming or um negatively influencing this person's physical appearance or body maybe through um putting some like negative things into their mind which didn't really serve this person and the connection they had towards their body or maybe even I don't know why I'm getting giving this person or feeding this person as well a lot of like unhealthy stuff which what is this about I mean we know that unhealthy food can you know influence for example our brain and stuff like that literally how our brain functions but I don't know what this is about hmm can I get a little more information regarding it? What is this about? Okay, I'm not receiving more information, so I'm just I'm just gonna um you know keep it there. But yeah, somehow definitely a negative influence and they pushed them out and they went on this very transformative journey 
which is gonna be a huge deal for them, you guys. Like, this time could be one of the most important times in this person's life. A time in which they can reconnect, a time in which they can... I don't know why, but I feel like reclaim their power to some extent. So that's also very interesting here. But it's going to be very crucial. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Is there anything else? Let me see. I feel like that's all. Like, I'm not receiving any more messages. So my beautiful pal too. this is all I have for you for today. As always, my dear, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. As always, my dear, if you haven't, I invite you to also subscribe to the channel. And if you do, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or candle wax reading. Also, my dear, as always, if you would like to have a personal reading with me or more information regarding one, you can feel free to email me. And lastly, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal too. Take care, my love. Hey, pal three. Welcome to your reading, my dear. Now, let's see who is coming towards you in love. First of all, my dear, I have a message for you that I received while I was meditating. If you are new here and you don't know, before every candle wax reading, I meditate. And I already got some messages coming through for you through that. So I'm just going to quickly say something regarding it. I feel like when you... Mm, yeah, okay. So I feel like when you meet this person for some reason it's gonna be pretty obvious for you who they are like that they're gonna be a very significant partner that's literally what i heard it really feels like for me this pile this is not just someone coming towards you in love who you know i don't know like maybe you're gonna date for a while maybe you're gonna be in a relationship for a while or maybe only have fun for some of you guys if this is something you are interested in this is much 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 more serious this person is someone who i actually see you yeah having a committed relationship with if this is of course something you guys would want but i see it so strongly you guys this could be a very committed relationship okay like it's incredible this next partner could be a life partner this is the kind of energy i'm talking about here and it's also maybe important for someone to mention i don't know why but i feel drawn to do so that this is the first pal out of all the three that I got such a commitment coming through. I feel like you guys are going to be very compatible. Like, which was also something that I received like during the meditation. I almost saw like, mm, oh my goodness, it's always so um, difficult to explain. <laughs> the kind of messages that I get through meditation but I'm gonna try my best to you know explain to you guys what came through so I saw two balls of energy okay and they were very different when it comes to the color I think one was more golden colored and the other was more so mm, like it goes like silvery, I guess is the best way to say. And those two balls of energy, they were like um, with speed coming towards each other. Almost like um, about to, yeah. Mm. How should I explain it? <laughs> Almost like like this and they were about to hit each other but the moment they were about to hit each other it was like coming together it was like actually them merging into one another and becoming one 
And this was such a wonderful thing to witness because like the best way to explain it was it was very magical. It was almost like there would be a confrontation, but in reality, it was two things coming together who actually belong together. So that's just something I wanted to mention here. Very beautiful energy in the meditation. A lot of love, you guys. A lot of love. And even though I haven't started with the candle wax yet, I can already tell that we will probably get a lot of love coming through because that's just the energy that's... That's the, the vibe of your reading. This is such a incredible, like, love partner for you, okay? Oops. I dropped the lighter. Let's see. For my beautiful pile one, uh, pile three, <laughs> excuse me. Maybe someone was also drawn to another pile. But for my dear pile three, let me light your candle. Okay. So, as always, my dear, please give me a moment. Please give me a moment to tune into the energies here. Although I already feel the energies like so high. <laughs> like they already come through, you guys. It's incredible. This is a very special candle wax reading for sure. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Okay. The first thing I'm receiving here is that when this person enters your life, my beautiful pal three, there will be a lot of changes coming towards you as well. This is almost like a consequence. In order to be with this person, you have to prepare yourself for changes. Now, those changes can be different for every each one of you guys but let me get sh like give you guys some examples here um like for example let's just say some of you guys you may have to change location or some of you guys you may have to change something regarding your lifestyle for others of you it could be something regarding your job these are all just examples what's important to know is change and it's not like only you're gonna sacrifice something or you're gonna change something it's also about this person it's a sacrifice Ooh, both of you guys are gonna have to do in order to be with each other but what i find very interesting is that although you may let one thing go you're getting like multiple other things coming towards you like for example even though you may let go of let's just take the job opportunity oh i said it <laughs> let's just just take the job example for a moment maybe for some of you guys you're gonna you know do something regarding your career you may change it or you may leave something behind regarding your job but when this happens, you actually get maybe multiple job opportunities coming your way, okay? So it's almost like um, letting something go, but getting something in return. And that's something very interesting here, because it's not the energy of a loss. It's actually the energy of gaining something. And this actually makes sense when it comes to the energy of change, very often when we change something, we yeah, may say goodbye to the old, but through that change, we may actually receive something new coming towards us. And that's exactly the energy of this. But of course, once again, it doesn't have to be your career or your job or work related. It was just, I guess, the best example for that moment. So let me see, what else can I get for you? For my beautiful pile three. Okay, let me talk about this person for a second. I really feel like, my dear, this is someone very, very social. Like, this person has, like, friends are huge, a huge part of this person's life. Like, friends, family, and not only that, but, like, generally speaking, socializing, getting to know people, putting yourself out there. This is the 
being in their element and I'm not receiving any messages regarding whether you know this is your cup of tea whether you're all also like that or not but that's once again that's actually not important because we are looking into who they are and the message that I received in the beginning like in the meditation showed me that it doesn't matter how different you guys are once again we got those two different colored um, balls of energy coming through when you come together you emerge and you um once again you belong to each other so it's not going to be an issue in fact you guys could be very different from each other maybe when it comes to your physicality when it comes to your personality but you're going to make it work and in fact it's more than that it's not like some kind of obstacle that you guys are going to make work but it's actually something beautiful that's going to allow you guys to expand your relationship even more. Let me see. Mm. Yeah, definitely someone who is very close to their friends. It wouldn't surprise me if this person like regardless of their work and you know their responsibilities and stuff if they see their um their friends like a few times a week okay they're gonna make it work this is the kind of person like if they want something they're gonna make it work they're gonna find a solution and i feel like this person they love to just you know see their loved ones and spend time with their loved ones it literally recharges them. Also, this person, you know, when we talk about their work and stuff like that, this could be the colleague that everyone gets along with, everyone likes to work with, you know, the one person that brings great energy into the workspace, <laughs> even on the worst Monday ever. This is the kind of energy I'm seeing here coming through. Let me see what else I can get. Wow. You know what I heard, my dear? Oh my goodness. Wow. I just received a message which it's like this last puzzle piece because um like the messages I already received or the energy that I was tuning in having this message coming through now it definitely makes so much sense what i'm receiving here is that when you meet this person for the very first time this can be love at first sight you guys will both feel it of course as always take it how it resonates because i know not everyone believes in that concept so take what resonates and leave what doesn't but I just have to say that you guys, it's almost like when you meet, like you fall in love and you fall in love really, really hard, okay? And from there on, like your love story begins. And I really feel like, my dear, like for some of you guys, you've never experienced that kind of love before. I literally heard another dimension for some reason. It actually wouldn't surprise me at all if this was some kind of soulmate or even a twin flame. Because didn't didn't I say in the beginning, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but di didn't I say that I received the message in the meditation that it almost like when you meet them, you're going to recognize them for who they are, like them being a very significant partner for you. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Definitely. It makes a lot of sense. Because this person is a significant person for you. That's also why when they come through, as I said, it, it's almost going to feel like they're not a stranger to you. It's going to be so easy for you to connect with them. 
And I really feel like when you guys meet, you're actually gonna both be so serious about each other that you may actually very fast talk about very important topic with each other. I'm sorry, topics with each other. Such as like topics which are related to your future, what it is that you want in the future, and you know how you guys would have to make it work if you would want to stay with each other and stuff like that. You definitely will not wait when it comes to the like um, serious talk, okay? You guys. I can't even explain to you. Oh my goodness. I just saw 444. So that could be significant for someone. But I saw triple four coming through here. What I really feel for you is that. Honestly, this person. In a way. They're going to feel like a blessing coming towards you. And I feel like the reason why you may have the impression is because this is actually something you've wanted. And when it comes through, it's actually this, oh my goodness, I am blessed because I actually receive what I wanted. That kind of energy here. I don't know whether some of you guys are actually aware of this person already. You know, you're aware of a certain connection, like... Maybe you've always felt something or literally maybe you are very connected to the like energy room and you are receiving messages regarding them. Whatever may be your individual situation, I don't feel like when they come through, you're going to be um, like totally... Mm, how do I say that? Like you, it's not going to be in, in a way that you don't have any information regarding who this person is. Like when you meet them, it's in a way you're going to know who they are to you. Okay. As I said in the beginning. Yeah. This is actually all I have for you, my dear. I am not receiving any more messages. As always, my dear, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. Thank you so, so much, my dear, for allowing me to read for you and for allowing me to connect with your wonderful energy. As always, if you haven't, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And if you do, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and pick a card or candle wax reading. Also, my dear, as always, if you would like to get more information regarding a personal reading with me, you can feel free to email me. And lastly, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, of course, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal three, take care, my love.